Now, councillors across Wales will soon have a new cohort of councillors, but how representative will they be of our multicultural society? Campaigners are calling on all political parties to introduce a quota for ethnically diverse candidates to ensure a mix of voices around the decision-making table. Here's Paul Piggott. Swansea is a diverse city with predominantly Asian communities like here on St. Helens Road. And yet that diversity hasn't been reflected in the people who are getting elected to the council here. Swansea has just one black woman from a council of 72 members. We asked people what they thought of this. I think that is really big shameful for Swansea as they like. They have a lot of diversity, there are a lot of people coming from everywhere, there are a lot of nationality here. That's the reality of the real happening in the county, that's why. Though the number is very poor, it should be, uh, it, it would be good if, if the number is uh, more to represent the uh, rest of the Asians or the other, 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 other peoples. Women should be more, not any race, not any age or sexuality or anything like that, just women. We rule better, that's all. It's not the only local authority which is underrepresented. In a survey of candidates after the 2017 council election, just 1.8% of people said they were from a black, Asian or another minority ethnic background. 5.2% of people in Wales identify as being ethnically diverse. It's appalling, absolutely. Um, it shouldn't even be something we should be talking about at this point because we live in a diverse society and as much as possible that should reflect in our leadership. It's impossible to know if that situation will improve in May because the Welsh Local Government Association's next diversity survey won't be published until the autumn. Better data is something the Electoral Reform Society has called for, but campaigners like Evelyn say May should be the last election where underrepresentation is allowed to happen. We're not saying that diversity quotas is just the only effective tool, but we're saying it is a starting point. Give them the chance to be at the decision table. The WLGA wants all groups or parties to consider using voluntary quotas. But Welsh Labour says positive action on the basis of race would have to be in line with the Equalities Act. Instead of quotas, it's delivered training programmes aimed at developing a diverse range of candidates. Plaid Cymru says quotas are not the answer. It's running shadowing and mentoring programmes to encourage ethnic minority people to join the party. And the Welsh Conservatives say quotas are demeaning and it's launched the Mohammed Ashgar Memorial Fund to support ethnic minority candidates standing for election. There should be no difference between you and me. And if it's not, I don't think quota business can work, really. By de doing those quota systems, you're limiting their competition. Altaf is standing down this election after becoming one of the first Asian heritage councillors for Bridge End County in 2017. But the retired orthopaedic surgeon says all parties do need to do more. There should be mentors for all those youngsters who can train them and who can bring out that uniqueness of those individuals and see that they go into those political parties then. But that's not happening at present. What we should now start to be looking at is an all, possibly all women shortlisting for people from diverse communities. After two decades as a Cardiff councillor, Ramesh is standing down in May. But he worries Labour isn't doing enough to ensure that diverse candidates follow in his footsteps. It seems like almost you've got to fight lots of obstacles to get your name on the ballot paper. And that should not happen. And that, like I said, applies to all political parties. And I think, you know, there's been a total failure. Compared to some parts of England, you know, you've got far better representation from those diverse communities. But one Plaid Cymru party activist says racialized candidate selection could undermine diversity efforts. There's obviously a problem. It doesn't see a quota as a necessary response or an answer. And there are lots of reasons why a quota can sometimes undermine. There are, there are people who say that, that that means you get the job irrespective of whether you can do it or not. But there is a bright spot in the effort to get better representation for communities across the country. It's the Welsh Youth Parliament, the most diverse political institution in Wales. Councils and parliaments, they uh, reflect the wider community. And I feel that if people have someone they can relate to in a position of power, it will inspire them to um, make a change themselves. You live in this country, and if you don't get your voice heard, after you're just going to always be upset and be like, oh, the policy is like this, the policy is like this, 
is the policies like this just go, go and get your voices then? Young politicians like Hermione and Fatma hope their generation will close the diversity gap in Welsh politics. And that is it for.